Okay, hello. Welcome to the third episode of a late night catch. Uh, this time it's more like the um, late evening catch. I'm but telling you, it's going to be dark. We finally got Ben to stop talking so we can start. God damn it, Benjamin. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to point out I thought, just William's the whole video. alluring. I'm not going to interrupt. God damn it, Benjamin. I'm trying <laughs> to describe Will's fucking dumb face. I'm trying to point it out with the camera. Will's alluring um, open mouth gasp that he decided just to have since the beginning of the game. I'm so shocked at how good this game looks all the time. <laughs> you know, well, well, while we're on the topic of disgusting looking faces. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at this uh, water effect. Shout, you know? shout out to MVP if he's watching. That, that guy is the creepiest looking character I've ever seen. <laughs> what does he look like? Can, I mean, I want to like, can we, can we like touch on that shit that happened at the end of the last episode? We just got like rolled oh, up yeah. on. Oh yeah. Oh, the park ranger showed up. Yeah, we got rolled up on by like the ugliest squad available to the ocean. <laughs> I got, I got shot. You got shot, they dude. Shot. They yeah, shot. I got so shot did Will. Too. Didn't Will they shoot? Didn't shot they shoot? I thought they shot Ben first. Oh no, they, oh, they shot me, me and then they shot Paul and then they shot me. Well, they asked, me to, they asked me to pick up a can, and I told them that I didn't have any thumbs. So then they asked me to pick up a crab with my feet. But the crab ran away. But it right. ran away, so I couldn't comply. So they put us in the fucking dirt, and they cuffed us. They, they asked for our permits. Um, I don't carry my fishing permit on me, so I didn't have it. That was... A, that's trouble. I think my left mine in the couch back in my uh, abode. It usually falls you know, down. I, I haven't. I just with all the houses off. I own, I haven't been inside a single building that I that I bought. Really? <laughs> yeah, I haven't even I haven't been inside of any of them. I made a house in Belia. Yeah, with I don't all, think like, I've ever gone in my residence. I made a house with all the like the pre-order furniture, and then I deleted it and haven't been back. But, yeah, I needed the contribution points at some point, and I had it all nicely arranged and well lit, and then I was like, fuck it. That's like that's like an end game thing for me. Like, I'll play the game, and then I'll play the house game, and then I'll play the Sims. All, all snakeskin everything? <laughs> well, isn't it if you yeah. have like the highest score of that house or whatever on the server that you get to play like the money market or whatever it is? Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, I, but... I have that's no the real idea. end game. I have no idea how that works, honestly. It's like 4x for Black made a Desert. Post about it, uh, Wait. not too long ago, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I put you know like seven million into it, and he was making like 200k a day." Damn, <laughs> might as well fuck. fish. <laughs> um, like the real end game in this game is petting stray cats. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you can do that? If you believe hard enough. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, stray cats need love too, Ben. If you roleplay oh, hard bad. enough. Fucking, it's a savage world out there. Dude, roleplay chat's my fucking favorite because I feel like it's the equivalent to just, like, television in this game. <laughs> you just, like, leave it open. And, like, people don't talk at it that often, and it kind of bums me out. But, like, when they do, it's either, like, some actually well-written roleplay dialogue, or B, it's just some sexy stories that get out of hand, and it's great. Or completely frightening. Or it's disgusting, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually turns to that route. Usually. I want that egg over there. You want what egg? It's just, it's just a raindrop egg. What do you, what do you want with that? You can go get it. I'm getting it. I'm go getting get it. it. Uh, gives you fishing skill, bro. Who we're needs not, fishing? We're not all rank one on the server over here, and some of us only have four fishing skill. Yeah, dude. Yo, I just want the egg, right? It's You're out there. Not, it's hopping around. I'm not hating, but I'm You're kinda hating. Oh, wait, hey, this is says, says this the, the guy who ran out and did this earlier. I saw you. Don't think no one was I looking. Did. Tough guy. Don't try to play it I off like you don't. On the beach, like, like a you beautiful don't, mermaid. You don't care about the Easter eggs. You don't want that sick fucking egg chandelier, dude. You know you want that. I That's want it. Thing. Yeah, you get a fucking chandelier. I think. <laughs> I've seen pictures of it. Oh yeah. I, Side note: Speaking of chandeliers. You guys, like, people of the internet, there's a, a Pokemon now that's just a chandelier. What? 
Yeah. Yeah, Chandelure. A Chandelure Pokemon. It's just a Do chandelier. they have like yeah. a recliner Pokemon and a fork Pokemon and a La lazy boy? Yeah, dude. dude. Yeah. They've gone so far that there's a Pokemon that is actually just garbage. It's called Trubbish. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> I, it, evol it evolves into something else that I forget. But how's everyone's fish week? What the fuck did you do? Uh, I hit professional. I think I'm, I'm the one. I'm almost artisan four. Damn. I'm the farthest behind. I'm like 69% to professional one. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, I made, you're behind me. You I suck. didn't even realize that I made that joke. <laughs> oh my god. We're so we're so mature here. Uh, here at Video Party, uh, <laughs> we like to have fun and we like to be mature. <laughs> <laughs> What's 69? But like, other than that this week, I just, yeah, because everyone else in this fucking guild is 50 except for me, <laughs> so I'm like You're 44, 40. I'm proud of you. I'm 44. I'm absolutely proud of you. Dude, Four I grounded out. In two days. Yeah, I grounded out in the last two days. I went to that fucking Chimera spot by the, um, I forget what it's called. It's like someone, someone's like fucked up Mirny's lab. lab. Yeah. Oh, Marin's lab or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit is awesome. Yeah, if you, you like... can stay there till like you're 46 yeah. and then honestly, if you don't suck, you can just go straight to the catfish, but if mm -hmm. you do suck, uh go to the giants, I think, till like 48. Uh, I went what Papa Fizz is for. I went to girl. I went to the um I don't I think I don't know if it's the giants, but it's like the place where everyone's like fucking fighting and it's just cuz Yeah, that one. It's just cuz the creatures are Sawnil. red. Battlefield. So they gave me like a lot more experience, but there's like a ridge that I farmed like from 40 to like 43 doing those chimeras in like an hour and a half. And I, I mean, you know, I had I had the 50% That was experience. the best grinding spot when I was leveling. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was fucking crazy. I had a 50% experience scroll too, which like just wasn't fair. <laughs> but. Yeah. Oh, you only kind of suck because you're still not 50. I'm currently just yeah. in the race to 50. Not a race, dude. I'm just getting there. But everyone keeps fucking yelling at me. He won't get there. Maybe if you did something Rowling. other than fish. <laughs> no, no I, I can't even say it's do something other than fish because Will just fished from 40 to 50. And he's been there for a while. Um, 40 it's to 50. It's because I always forget to AFK do and do shit. <laughs> I just like log off. I, I got even... to Calpheon and then fished from 36 and a half to 50. Yeah, fuck that, dude. <laughs> My adventure ended in Calpheon. I tried <laughs> to grind a little bit, and it just it wasn't fishing, so I didn't I didn't do it. Will's life ended Once I hit in 40, I did two quests <laughs> between 40 and hitting 50. Were they just like Black Desert or Black Spirit quests? Yes. They're the one that the one that just gives you fifty. <laughs> yeah, this is the ones you have to do. Um, Other than that, it was uh, Northern Wheat Plantation. Well, here's an awesome thing. Who's fucking stoked for Medea tomorrow? However, oh, yeah, there's gonna be an update tomorrow, even though that's today. I think is how this works. Well, by the time this episode comes out, it'll be yesterday it'll be today i believe all right so we're in medea right now yes actually. we are and it's awesome talking, it's great from medea from the past mm -hmm. and i don't know you've probably seen like maybe read some stuff maybe seen a video but if not we can tell you what the big fucking big boy patch updates would be number one just being 30 percent more map i guess and new weapons oh my her. god sync notes thank you jesus oh yeah that too those are gonna be so yeah. expensive and then they're gonna plummet <laughs> that's my well, I, well I, I think it's, it's brass or is it bronze i'm not sure which one of those two is made with uh zinc and copper hmm. but brass. that's one of the brass yeah that's one of the bigger like high-end i don't know i guess i should have taught you that bronze was tin and copper Sorry, I guess I didn't play that much WoW, my bad. Uncultured. Well, I, guess, I guess he didn't. Swine. <laughs> Not at all. And just AFK fished in WoW. <laughs> <laughs> Your metallurgy knowledge is like way down in the dumps, dude. Gotta know oh, that one. Man, you're just a dumpster. 
Yeah, I know. Wait, what's the name of the trash Pokemon? That's me. Trubbish. That's my Pokemon. Trubbish. <laughs> Trubbish. Um, but other than okay, other than that, there's there's a uh, Zarka, which is like the big fucking new world boss, which drops the. Um, I, is it literally just called the Zarka weapon now? I I, yeah. I, I think it is. Does it's, it have it's just like that? the Zarka longsword yeah. Zarka X, I believe. That is hands down the best weapon in the game. Have fun upgrading. Yeah, have fun upgrading it. <laughs> be a great time. Speaking of upgrading, <laughs> uh, I want to tell a funny story about this guy Will. Go that on. I know. <laughs> Go on. Will dumped like twenty million into upgrading his axe, and you only got it to what, like twelve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that when I? Is that when you, you came over? I watched you do that. Yep. Yeah, I watched it you do hurt, that, dude. And it didn't stop failing that night either. Oh. The next day, <laughs> it was it so hurt. funny. It was so funny. He <laughs> fucking he bought all these like twenty two stones. Like we were just like egging him on, like in the marketplace. Like, yeah, dude, just buy twenty of them. Yeah, fuck it. You have the money, right? And he's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> do it, pussy. You and won't. He, and then he did. And then we just watched him as like his fucking head slowly sank more and more into his palm. The, the <laughs> rain started coming down harder and harder. I got hey, to 25 hey, well. fail stacks trying to get to plus 13, oh. and then I stopped. I, I kept telling myself, okay, I'll buy a few more stones. These will definitely get it. <laughs> you surely jest. Well, you tried. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, what what the fuck else is new in that patch? There's... Alchemy stones. I have no idea what the fuck those I are. Uh, you have to be pretty high level, I think, to make and equip them. I know they're equipable, or they just hang out in your inventory. I'm not sure. But they, uh, they just give you a buff that just mm. lasts for three minutes. And they're reusable every three minutes. Right. And they have an X amount of durability. So you can upgrade them to like a ridiculous state where it gives you a ton of stats. Yeah, we're going to be pretty sweet for anybody looking to like min max their stuff 100%, but I'm not really into that. So I'm just going to fetch. Fine. More of an in, in gamey kind of thing. Well, for I think. People that play 17 hours a day. <laughs> I think like our ultimate goal is just fucking fishing until we have a lot of money, which some of us have had, <laughs> and then just hang out and play Nintendo. And spend twenty million on getting to an axe that's two levels behind mine with less than twenty black stones. Oh, fucking Ben's throwing some shade. That's at fired. <laughs> um, so fucking oh yeah, oh yeah, you can get. You can get higher tier horses now, I think, in the patch, which is sweet. Tier seven. Tier seven. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Ugh, that's that's got to be such a joy. Yeah. To obtain. <laughs> I would fucking buy one, I guess. <laughs> Not like that'll happen anytime horse, soon. I mean, horse, horses are expensive. Yep. Uh, yeah, tame, taming and breeding sucks <laughs> as well, but uh, it, it's worth it. You can sell those horses for a lot if you're willing to put in the time and grind. I certainly am not. One of our guild members, uh, he's, he's a, what the, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot what the profession's called. Um, Same. taming? Yes, taming. That's what he does, right? That's what he wants to do, bacon? Mr. Bacon? Yeah, well, he, yeah. he's having to go at it, but. <laughs> he's trying, he's trying to hang <laughs> in slow, there. It's a slow process. <laughs> uh, yeah, kudos to anyone doing that, because everyone... Everyone needs them fucking horses. Riding your horse for 20 hours in game seems pretty easy on paper, but <laughs> actually riding your horse for 20 hours in game kind of hurts your soul. Yeah, because you're riding along this road of literal constant distraction. Then it's you, a road of loneliness. Then you, yeah, or you just ride that loneliness road. Ooh, pretty sun. Anyways. Oh, look. Oh, it's wow. getting dark. Oh, neat. They're... It's still the late evening catch, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Wow. 
Did um, anyone think to actually bring a lantern this time? Or? I did. I have a lantern this time, guys. Oh. I forgot. We're geniuses. I forgot the last two times. I don't know how times. you guys have life. I've never had a problem seeing the game dark. Well, it's just for the, the viewer, dude. They don't want to see our dark, uh, featureless faces. Also, our computers weren't built in 2000. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it, actually. I play on a gateway. <laughs> My uh, video party is sponsored by Dell. <laughs> we're not sponsored by uh, Dell. Right. We're sponsored right. by. We're sponsored My by computer Dell. Came in a cow print box. <laughs> My first computer was actually an e-machine, like the first one when I actually decided I wanted a computer when I was like, I think like 13 years old to play Age of Empires on. I think mine was too, actually. Damn. Damn. We're so tight. That We're such tight, chill buds. That nostalgia road. Yeah, I built my first one. I remember when I um, I wanted to play SimCity, like three or something, and my computer didn't have enough RAM, and I had to upgrade it to 512. Wow. Oh, wow. What a oh, day. Wow. Stacking heat. What that? What that? What that struggle was. Back, back in right when I got first got a computer, dude. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh was my god. My Roller Coaster Tycoon. I forgot about that game. That game I've fucking played for many, many hours as a child. I don't want to know how much time I played on that game. I'm glad it doesn't have that function. <laughs> There's no slash played in Roller Coaster Tycoon. No. <laughs> I would always, I got like, I made like the sweetest parks and then I started to get a little evil with it. Like I got a little bored. So I would do that thing where you like, delete the exit path to your park and oh, then yes. everyone just starts to get like really sick and then you don't have any janitors or whatever and then there's puke everywhere and it's like a disgusting parasitic wasteland and then <laughs> I that's that's how I get off. You just <laughs> So basically it turns into Tucson. Oh <laughs> Damn. Oh wow. Woo I would I don't know. Delete parts of roller coasters so that the cars would just fly right off and people would start dying. <laughs> and then, and then like, I'd delete <laughs> the exit so everyone in my park is just terrified because they die on every ride that they would go on. <laughs> well, how many times do they die? Well, they're they see, they're watching all this bloodshed everywhere. And, and they keep, <laughs> but some people stay in line because they're just like, oh, maybe I'll like not die. You know? Maybe it'll be different this time. Like shit, I already paid twenty-one bucks. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip it out. I'm gonna rip out Roller Coaster Tycoon from our from our talking now. Let's, oh, let's fucking stomp that one on the ground. And all right, something that really grinds my gears. Okay. Is okay. Still happening. Okay. In fishing. Continue. I see these people out here fishing around us. We said it last episode. And I'm gonna say it again and really drive home the point. If you are using a float of any kind, if you are using a Calfian rod, or if you are putting energy into casting, you're dumb. It, you're doing it wrong. It's, it's all there is to it. We have tested the things beyond belief. You're playing yourself. I mean, er everyone who watched our last episode, hopefully. Hopefully heated our advice, but I see people still doing it. I, you guys are just throwing away millions and millions of silver, dude. It's point pointless shit. To especially with the float thing, like Will, Will, what did you get that float to? Plus nine. I'm, I don't want to. I it. What'd you it get it to, Will? To What'd you seven. get it to? It's not a fond memory. Okay. I got it to plus seven. Plus seven. Right? He got it to plus seven, and then for like almost two, you did it for like two days. Right about yeah, two days straight. I got it. I restored it to max durability, and I would go out there, cast forty times, go back in and repair it, cast forty times again, and after three trips, I would fill up my inventory. But there was literally, I caught more coelacanths with it or without it than I did with. Did you I catch any with it? With. Did you catch any with it? Nope. You didn't. Fuck. <laughs> and when I had. My Calfian rod and the ash float. I was fishing in spots where I already had 
or was already very close to having the biggest fish from that area. And not once did I catch a bigger fish than I already had. And when I stopped using it, I caught a bigger fish. <laughs> Damn. So I don't, I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know if Black Desert is just pranking us. <laughs> really bad but possibly trust us guys i weep i weep when i see you guys out there using that gear i weep for your wallets and just what you could be buying the only exception to that could be an upgraded Afurian rod if you're going to be afk fishing overnight right oh yeah well i was strictly saying floats and calpheon rods yeah yeah those <laughs> other rods i mean way more useful. actually have a, a use. <laughs> I mean, but, unless you like really just want a bigger fish to go in the fish log, but that's about it, man. But it's. I had a plus four rod and a float, and it never worked. So maybe I didn't put. Maybe 500 casts or so wasn't enough to tell, <laughs> but. Uh, I feel like it was a pretty good sample size for me to label it garbage. Yeah, or I definitely. If if you just had like totally different luck, just fucking tell us, I guess. Please. <laughs> Let, Let me know, know so I can go back down that rabbit hole. <laughs> I I may or may not believe you. <laughs> um, it's let's just see. like Paul said after six or seven hundred casts from me on the maple float, and I literally caught zero coelacanths when. And I've been keeping track of my the fish I catch and the number of times I cast and what I get. Ooh. I excellent. should have caught at least one coelacanth in that time, and I actually didn't. And I'm pretty sure I got reduced legendaries. It was just a lie. Dirty lie. Um, Good segue about that is another thing in our last episode we talked about upgrading nodes and putting yeah. energy into nodes that you're farming at or fishing at mm -hmm. to increase the drop rates. Mm -hmm. So the spot that we're at right now, I had been, ooh, I just caught a swordfish on a three cast. Beautiful. And then I forgot to take it before I recast it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. So at our last spot, as soon as I upgraded it over tier one, I never got below 15 yellows in a bag. Really? At oh. tier one, I got 11. In three trips at tier two, I got 18, 16, and 20. And in three trips at three, I've gotten 15, 21, 16. And you actually made a spreadsheet for that for science, right? I have, I'm looking at it right now. Oh, and damn. And I have two coelacanths in three trips at tier three and we will have much more data to come but obviously it, it seems it very much seems like it seems worth it investing in nodes does also affect what you catch fishing hmm. yeah that's interesting we are because uh we I've are heard... at hot spots um i don't i don't know if it i mean for all i know you could invest into some trash spot and yeah. if you put enough into it it becomes decent right. i don't know we we only fish at hot spots but i mean i've I, heard I say like, it's worth investing in i've heard different stuff like people who claimed that they were at hot spots and they invested in nodes said they didn't like notice a difference at all so maybe i i noticed a difference you did too I, okay well maybe that person was incorrect at a node at level four, and then I have another fifteen hundred casts on a node at level five. Huh. Yeah. It looks like the level five has like a good five or ten percent more legendaries. Oh, nice. Look at that person. Um, so just in total, out of everything, and it looks like I started catching far less just whites, but I caught more greens. Hmm. So I'm not 100% sure how close it is, but initial data to me. You know, I don't want you guys to hate me or us, but uh, I don't keep greens anymore. <laughs> well, oh, well I, I, know, I kept track of everything. That I, I, I don't keep track of the greens I catch. I don't even keep them. At the golden spots of the ocean, it's just like actually not 
worth it to do that because it's it like is. not like 75 percent of the time you're catching either a blue or a yellow more more than that yeah cast, more than that for again, fucking you 80, guys 85 percent chance you're getting a blue or a yellow just oh yeah fine keep that track keep that trash out of your bags <laughs> um here's something i want to talk about if you're getting bored um yeah i'm sure like there's kind of like like kind of last week this was a hot topic but those fucking silver keys that i'm sure you've been catching over and over again probably selling hopefully saving a couple of uh just go treasure hunting dude it's super worth it i tried that this morning and i got i brought 20 keys with me and i used 13 and i got one armor black stone and a handful of just random gems Mm -hmm. like you know green quality and then i just got a bunch of trash so i mean it can be but it's it's more of a thing that just keep five or ten on you whenever you're out just keep them because uh, there was a guide on Reddit from, uh, I think, a Sienna Macabre. Um, I'll link it in the description. There's, like, a sweet map that has all, like, the the common spots that the treasure chests are at. They all look the same, at least as far as I can tell. Like, there's no um, designation between the bronze, silver, and gold boxes. I know from silver and up is where it's really worth it. But, yeah, like, he... I've seen, like, screenshots of people with... Um, like many, many black stones, armor that people often buy that you can sell. Yeah, like Will said, a bunch of enchantment gems. So like if you want to do something different, it doesn't hurt to just get rid of them that way. Especially if you just want some extra black stones, I guess. Yeah. And were you, like, okay, if, if think of like if you were playing, um, like, oh, what's up? What's up, Dan? Where'd you go to eat? Popeyes? That's cool. That's cool. Go up to your room now. Get out of here. That was, that's my roommate Daniel. Anyways, he gonna send him to his crate. <laughs> um, anyways, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, so they're like if if you're playing um, a game like Dark Souls or something, think of think of like if you were looking for like an Easter egg in that game, you would you would want to look for like look in like the same places like in this game, like at the very high towers, like in ruined buildings that look kind of abandoned, just behind a wall that looks weird that you think is kind of out of place. There'll be like a corner or something where there's like a chest just sitting there um sometimes there's out in the open too yeah totally uh, um especially like the spots where you're grinding a lot they're kind of like hidden under the barrels too that you can destroy some are but in my experience um a lot of them were kind of centralized around or with a, like a pack of mobs around them Hmm. You know what I mean? Kind of obscure. Yeah, there by was that. a chest there, but there was a good little group of mobs kind of guarding it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And that's just what I found today. I mean, that could be the weird thing, but yeah, I, I didn't know. really find a whole lot of black stones. Could have just been really unlucky. I mean, I did like lower level areas too. Mm, judging from your enchanting skill, that might be the case. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, dude. Take it'll, it down to the burn ward. It'll all get better from here. Um, I, I have the highest ranked armor here, so you guys just go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Uh, <laughs> I think we've done every guild mission now, right? No, no, we haven't done the gathering one. That's the only one, right? We haven't done the gathering one because... I don't know. You just gather. You just, you you just gather things. Ton of members and gathering takes energy and gathering is kind of lame. Yeah, it's so much easier but just to trade or do the combat one. Um, they're very fun. Yes. I really enjoy the combat ones. Yeah. yeah. One, one thing I want to say about the combat ones though, like don't, I wouldn't do them unless you're at least like what, like 46 or so. Cause I, I did them with everyone else and I wasn't doing damage to any of the mobs that it was telling you to kill. And I think there's yeah. only like a couple spots. So if you're not like 46 or above, don't even go for that one. Um, just do the trading ones. They're, they're pretty easy. You don't need any, um, you don't need any trading skill because all of the goods that you have to get, I believe, are just rank one. But for some of the higher ones, you might need uh, more people participating totally. in it than just a few. Yeah, because like, they have ninety-minute uh, 
time restrictions. Right, and the, the the one with the deposit of, I think it was 35k, that one you need to trade 30 items, 30 items, from three different places, so it's 10, 10, and 10. And that's pretty easy to do. Like, if you have if you have two people with, like, a trade wagon, um, totally possible. You can definitely do it. Not yeah. even a trick wagon, just a farm wagon. It's yeah. pretty good. And the only uh, issue that we ran into when we were doing it, I mean, we obviously succeeded with plenty of time left. Uh, sometimes one person will not be able to buy uh, all of the amount at a certain area. Like, we needed 10 at the spot I went to, and I was only uh, allowed to buy seven. Hmm. Oh, there's yeah. only, there only seven like per person, so there are going to be some spots where more than one person is going to need to go and buy the items. Yeah, but totally. Not not major setbacks. So if you if just you, got a few, yeah, if you just like doing it, it'll be easy. If you just plan for that. Um, okay, you know what? Let's go to the weekly grinding music. Um, this 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 week's isn't um, really an album. It's more of a soundtrack. Uh, it's for a game called. Uh, it's a game called Lisa, which is on it's a sweet Steam. It's a sweet soundtrack. It's really weird. <laughs> it's a little weird of a soundtrack. Some of the songs are a little easier to listen to than others. Uh, for example, one that's going to be in this video that we're going to play. It's very relaxing bossa nova. I don't know if you call it that, but it's called Garbage Day. Here you go. Okay, hello again. Hope you like. Hope you like that. That sweet jam. Um, now we kind of touched on Medea in the beginning, but I think. Oh wait, no. Ben. Ben. Okay, really quick. Ben had his mic muted <laughs> for like the hey, whole last part of the beginning of I'm this not just episode. Not talking about self. Yeah. Ben was lonely. Yeah, I just wanted to. <laughs> on just wanted accident. To, just wanted to mention. I mean. That. <laughs> I kind of knew I was the ass end of most jokes, but I didn't realize it was the ass end of the whole video, so... <laughs> it's funny. I'm back he, now. He said he was, like, Brace. saying... He said he was, like, saying Brace stuff to us, game. and we, like, to him, we're just, like, obviously just ig ignoring him, like, on well, purpose. <laughs> the worst thing is, there's probably, like, you know, 10, maybe 15 minutes of just, like, me being silent because nobody was responding to anything I said, so I was like, all right, well, fuck these guys, guess I'm dude. just gonna be over here fishing. <laughs> just cool. like, just Pretty like cool when we're not guys over here. Show. We invited him out to come fishing with us. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I have raised friends. I'm the but, token bitch. It's okay. Now you get to talk, Ben. Now you get to talk. Yes, I do get to talk. You and I'm gonna talk to you all about something known as etiquette. Do go on. Now, I know you all learned your P's and Q's back in school. Fuck no. But, well, fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> anyway. I was at AFK in the bathroom all of high school. <laughs> so the thing I want to talk about, and this kind of ties into us talking about Medea, which is going to be out when this video comes out, uh -huh. is common courtesy in this game, specifically relating to boss scrolls. So... There's a bunch of different scrolls. You can fight witches. You can fight big ass red nose assholes. You can fight uh, relic shards or something like that. But Hillary the long and short of it is these guys give you hunter seals. They also give you black stones, which is basically the whole reason you play this game is to level up your armor and your gear. Yeah, baby. And the whole thing about it is you want to get a group because if you don't have a group, 
you're just doing one boss by yourself. It's going to take forever and you're not going to get much loot because you're just going to get the one quest for yourself. So you want to get a group of five and everyone wants to have their own scroll because if you have all have your own scroll, you can all loot the boss. Now, the boss has a chance to dump or drop seals. They can drop uh, black stones, anything like that. Um, and the new expansion in Medea, they can also drop boss gear, which is like best in slot for just about everyone who plays the game. So you should probably look up on that on Black Desert Foundry or any other website that you guys use for they, they items just, and stuff like that. Um, they drop like Leverto weapons a lot more, right? Or is that a different thing? Well, no. so the Leverto Those weapons are... drop off of guild bosses, and I'll get to those oh, in a second. Right, Hold on, right, right, I, got a, right. I got a legendary. Hold on. What is it, baby? What you got there? It's a uh, tilefish. Hell oh, yeah. Wow. So back to what I was doing. Um, basically, the big thing about these boss scrolls is you basically you get the uh, red nose scroll every day from your daily. Uh, there's a weekly which will give you, I believe, the tree scroll. It might give you other ones, but from my experience, just I've only been 50 for a week, so I've only gotten the one. But you might get the witch. You might get some other scrolls. There's tier one and tier two boss scrolls. Tier ones are pretty easy with three. They're kind of a joke with five. Uh, the tier two scrolls are pretty easy with five if you all are kind of paying attention and actually trying to avoid mechanics. Otherwise, they might be a pain in the ass, as our guildmate kind of realized the other day, uh, dying a couple times from what I saw in the chat. <laughs> um, but otherwise, these guys, they, they basically drop, if, if you're the one who summons it, and each person in your party can summon it one time per boss scroll, and when you summon it, you get a quest. You get these three little chests that can drop additional black scroll or uh, black stones. They can drop hunter seals, anything like that, just like the boss drops. And you really want to try and get in a group where everybody has one, just so you can maximize the amount of times you can loot it. And it's kind of like, you know, the honor system. Everyone link your scroll, kind of thing like that. I I've seen groups, and like me and uh, Will actually last night did a uh, red nose group where everyone had at least two. And it was pretty awesome. I got a grand total with Hunter Seal exchanges included, you know, 10 black stones for weapons, uh, about 30 almost uh, armor black stones, Ooh. and went up a lot of stats. Yeah, no. So kind of a funny thing with me getting to plus 14 on my weapon with like 20 uh, weapon black stones. I don't have a single thing plus 10. I probably dumped 150 for my armor on the armor black stones. Damn. So karma kind of caught up to me a little bit. Just a bit. But <laughs> just a bit. Is, are you sure your karma is at 300k? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke you made right there. Well memed, friend. <laughs> Long story short, you're, you're going to find these groups. Uh, they're all going to have at least one of the scroll. Try to share the loot. Uh, don't be an asshole and join a group if you don't have a scroll because you're, you're kind of an asshole trick. and you're probably not going to find yourself in groups later. I almost kind of wish there was like a blacklist thing like this. Like I, I, I seem to remember when I played Final Fantasy XI, there was like a group blacklist website where people who would ninja loot or something like that back in the day would be listed. You can run someone's name through it and be like, oh, we don't want to invite this guy to our group because they don't, you know, actually have a scroll or they say they do something along those lines. I don't know. Well, but, you can't link it unless it's in your inventory. Which is kind of the fail save. And you'll notice that like, if you join these groups where uh, people are trying to kill a certain boss, they all link it before anyone summons it because they want to make sure that everyone in the group actually at least has a scroll. And you'll find groups if they're like, you know, just doing your dailies for like Red Nose, sometimes for some of the other bosses or even Red Nose. Uh, actually, because it's pretty easy to get scrolls for it. People will have multiple scrolls. And if you have two or three scrolls, try and find a group like that, because you can get a metric fuck ton of black stones really fast mm. for uh, being in a group like that. Because, I mean, the, the easiest boss of the daily red nose takes 30 seconds to kill, maybe, something like that. But anyway, don't be an asshole. If you join one of these groups, make sure you have a scroll. If you don't have any more scrolls, let your group know. They can replace you. They can't replace you. Maybe you'll get free loot, and you weren't an asshole because you said something. That's but. number one rule, video etiquette, guys. <laughs> be it's, nice. It's now. Be a nice guy. Don't be, be nice and PC. There's, there's two buttons in life. One is a be an asshole button, and then one and the other button is the don't be an asshole button. You want to go ahead and hit the second button. Yeah, wow. No, that's how well easy. That's how easy it is, guys. 
That's All really right, well put. Yeah. There's two buttons. Well, now um, that we're... I haven't even taken the plastic off of my be nice button. <laughs> Like the, still the packaging. like the 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 clear vinyl like whatever that goes, yeah. like, that comes on like your like cell phone screen <laughs> or something. <laughs> well, while we're on the topic of Endgame, uh, I myself, since I leveled from forty to fifty, literally only fishing. Naturally, when I hit fifty, I was very very far behind on energy and contribution points. Um. It's pretty easy to get this stuff once you're 50. Energy uh, is it's the easiest by far. You can go around to all like the cities and like the little nodes that you didn't quest at or you just didn't do anything at. And just talk to the people, talk to all the question marks. There will be people where you have to invest energy to talk to people. And it's worth it. You invest that energy, you know, you'll gain a max energy or something. All those spots around there, and then discovering all the monsters at the level 50 grinding spots that you go to will increase your energy. As far as contribution points, those can be a little trickier. You obviously get them just from doing quests uh, in various cities and towns and whatever. Um, when you're at 50, if you don't want to go back and just do all of the kind of brainless, easy, 30 or 40 CP quests like yeah. in Heidel and stuff like I tried to uh, originally it's really not worth it yeah. there although it will be in Heidel and a couple other spots a repeatable quest that will say contribution in front of it and it literally only gives you contribution and it'll give you 200 the one in Heidel is for the red nose orcs which are obviously very or red orcs not red nose i'm sorry very easy to kill if you're a 50 you go there and you just you know one shot everything to kill 100 uh when you get down around bear and trent which are a lot of the uh the, the 50 towns just quest through those spots there's a ton of quests at both those cities you'll get a ton of cp from doing that and like hex sanctuary is the same thing there's a ton there's a massive quest chain that goes through there and also, in Calpheon, there is a bunch of repeatable uh, contribution point dailies that will take you just to various spots around like the Calpheon area. And there's a really good video that explains a good route to take to do your contribution dailies around Calpheon. And we will have a link to that in the description. But it's something that you're going to have to do if you didn't just straight quest and grind yep. to 50, you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to do it, but it's not awful, <laughs> and at least you get a good amount from places you'll be grinding at 50. It's kind of like the recovery Especially the energy package. when you're 50, because like so many of the life skills require energy to use, like processing and gathering. Oh, yeah. It, it's amazing how having... like I, I just have 111, which is not a terribly large amount of energy, but... Being able to like dump that into processing is like almost a level each time I do it, and then it's just one, one you're going to need to grow your character in the long run. Um, one thing I want to say, I guess, about what we just talked about, um, it's just like a really easy thing to do that's super helpful. So like every time you get to a new like town or village, you'll see those little question marks. Um, those are just like the little little tiny gray question marks everywhere. Those are just people you haven't talked to yet. Um, definitely not all of them, but some of them will just give you an energy point or two just by speaking to them. And then, uh, if you need amnity with an NPC in that town for whatever reason, um, only specific NPCs that you talk to, you'll actually be able to use in the amnity minigame for certain NPCs. But just by talking to them all and unlocking them, then you don't have to like worry about it later. So like, like, okay, Calpheon, for example, um, if you want to talk to that vendor who gives you the Uria weapons, um, I forget his name specifically, but like, if you just don't want to buy one for like super expensive off the auction house, well, I guess it's not super expensive, but if you just don't want to spend that much, I think it's about like 90k from a vendor as opposed to like maybe two, three, whatever they're at now. Um, 
That's an example. Aerial weapon? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Nowhere near two or three hundred k. Fuck you uh, talking longbow's at least two hundred and ten. What are you talking about, Will? Yet. What are you talking about, Staff. Will? Because no one plays your class. Yeah, it's because it's the axe, dude. No one gives a shit about the axe. You're that garbage dumpster class, and nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. You ain't getting no peels in the battleground. <laughs> oh. Um, Just like every game we've ever played before. Hot fire. Just dragon's breath is all <laughs> over this conversation. Yeah. Just get in the habit of talking to the question mark. Well, people. if you ever want to give you stuff. something. Oh, God. I hate you so much. <laughs> What'd you say, Ben? Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> no, dude. What'd you say, dude? No, I just I I like Will, and I want things to go well, and I just really wish he learned where his Tom button was in any fucking video game we ever played before this. Well, but oh, it's okay, dude. You're bringing uh, up you're bringing up some past uh, salt. And and can I get Mark of the Wild, please? <laughs> <sighs> I was about to say, Ben, uh, did you socket that spell hit gem in your cloak yet? <laughs> I have no fucking idea what you guys are talking about, but I don't know. Will okay. you know what axe is in BC or what? I can hear Ben's frustration through the through my headphones. All right, guys, break Mace out your time. fire, break out your fire extinguishers, and let's cool off here. <laughs> let's bring it on down. Bring God, I can't wait for PvP to be a thing in this game. Let's bring right. it down from a six to a nine. Dang. Speaking of PvP, uh, Medea, there's that 40 v 40 instance battleground. Oh yeah, I'm really stoked for that. Which, according to Hacker Eyes video, is kind of normalized for everybody's gears. Hmm, interesting. People that are like, you know, min maxing and way at the top uh, aren't gonna necessarily squish everybody, but they're still gonna have a noticeable uh, advantage and power. But Dude. Who knows? Let's see how it goes. Hakurai puts out like the best Black Desert guides for for things. Just saying. Good good yeah. job. Good job, bud. Good, uh, good job, man. Very informative. Nice. Like when we when we that's like didn't nice. when we like just started to like learn about this game, like I was playing like close beta or whatever and then like ever all all these guys came over. And I think I just played each of his like class guides for everyone, and that's kind of like what got us all to decide what we're gonna be. So, hey. Well, Thanks. that's not one hundred percent true because I decided mate. I was gonna every all everyone class wanted to play a wizard. All <laughs> his class, yeah. Well, because wizards are fucking tight. Wizards are good. They're great. I would fucking demolish you right now. You wouldn't. You guys should fight right now. Oh, you one can't. One v one me, bro. IRL. You Come can't. On. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sick that day. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> sorry. Okay. A little bit of a tubby ache. My bad. Um, let's see here. Anything else anyone wants to talk about? Or else we're, uh, we're fucking out of here, dude. Oh yeah. And one more thing about Medea. Alta Nova is gonna open up, so. Oh yeah. You yeah. can haul your crates from Trent to Alta Nova for a huge bonus. Yep. Super worth. That's a new trade route? Yeah. Uh, not necessarily a trade just route, longer. but you, yeah, you just make crates in Trent and then you haul them all the way to Alta Nova and sell them. Yep. Neato. Much monies. Well, I think we'll have to try it out. But I've heard that There's it's very profitable. There's crates that are more profitable than others. Right. right. And it's just, uh, no matter what, you need to have your workers produce them too. So, you know, there's mm -hmm. a little bit of a time going in there. I've heard that the wooden ones are more profitable than others, but that was in the Korean version, so I have no idea how much that holds up now. That doesn't surprise me because pretty much any like wood or like ash timber or birch timber or anything, all that's really cheap, super abundant, like everywhere. Right. Hmm. So it nice. wouldn't surprise me if they were the most profitable. Tight. Well, yeah, we're going to give that a shot and, well, it's coming out tomorrow, but when this video comes out, it would have come out yesterday, so we're, and, in, a, uh, we're in a weird time travel lim limbo. We are looking for a few new friends to join up with Bill Murray. 
if any of you guys are playing on the Orwin server, if anyone's feel interested. free to uh, hit up one of us four, give us a little chat, see what's going on. You can see us on the leaderboards. Shut up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Roll up with the fishing leaderboard, and there's at least a couple names on there. Uh, goofy names are encouraged, but not required. Pretty not much required. just want you to be active and have a good attitude. That's it. We are a lot more vulgar when we're not recording our voices. <laughs> so that'll be something to keep in mind. Especially William. Especially well. <laughs> I am nothing but a well-mannered English gentleman. Everything I you just saint. said is a fucking lie. <laughs> also, that pretty sure you're German. Entire sentence was a lie that you just said. But yeah, uh, hit us but up. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, we love you guys. We love you guys. Turn in every week. Give us the likes. Give us the subs. Yeah, we do a few guys. So keep it up. We're gonna keep doing it. Keep a uh, keep on that fishing, eh? All right. See you guys.